Charleston police responding to the city's second deadly shooting in five days. Good evening. I'm Rob Mako. Marilee McAuliffe is on assignment tonight. One woman is dead and it didn't take long for police to make an arrest. 13 News reporter Lane Ball joins us now from downtown Charleston with more on what happened. Lane. Well, neighbors say where this all happened, it's usually a quiet community, but those who knew the victims say this came as a surprise when they heard about this. Neighbors say Lower Donnelly Road in Canal City is usually peaceful. Just a nice, friendly, peaceful place to live. But it quickly took a turn when they heard gunshots and a woman scream. Charleston police responded to the area just after 4.30 Tuesday afternoon for a possible shooting. Officers were told a possible suspect was an older white man in a red shirt driving a red Mazda SUV. Officers found this man driving the car. This is 76 year old Vestal Harper, and he was found with blood splattered on himself, his clothes and a handgun. Officers then placed him under arrest. Police discovered the victim, 72 year old Nancy Belcher on her front porch. They say she had been shot multiple times and died on scene. Neighbors say Belcher was always a kind person and this shooting came as a shock. So emotional and so sad to know that this happens in your neighborhood. It's still a great neighborhood, and I hope people don't look at it any differently, but this is just something that nobody could have predicted. Harper is charged with first degree murder at his arraignment Tuesday night. Is there any comments on the shooting? What do you make of the he stayed silent. Harper is now in the South Central Regional Jail with no bond, and his next court appearance is September 7th. Harper and Belcher's relationship has not been released at this time. I'll continue to bring you updates as I learn more. But for now, reporting live in Charleston, I'm Lane Ball for 13 News.